What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Jabba Hunter Rex here bringing us another episode of Sky Capture Project. With that being said, let's get into today's episode. Alrighty, guys. So, my plan for today's episode well, there's a lot of things that we need to do, right? So, in between episodes, I did put the um jumbo tank above the wither here so we have about i would say six buckets six and a half sixteen and a half buckets of ether gas which i don't even remember oh right we wanted ether gas for some supremium tank yeah the supremium tank which is right because this is going to be for the uh ba -ba 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 nether star generators i do 4000 rf per tick right that's right okay however i think we don't really need to do that right because we can just make a um gas burning generator to burn hydrogen <laughs> which gives us 24000 rf per tick which is you know i mean sure right yeah so i guess we set that up for nothing but not really for, for nothing we will probably will use it eventually, but just not right now. So, okay. The goal for today is to get into refined storage. That's not how you, refined, re, re, excuse me, game, uh, refined storage. And we're going to go ahead and get the controller here, or, or at least that's the start, right? Which we need quartz and rich iron, which is going to need nether quartz, you know, the iron and whatnot. Man, I wish some of this stuff had EMC, man, because some of it, man, is just really annoying to make. Like, really annoying to make. <clears throat> Nether Quartz being one of those very annoying things to make, um, because, you know, it's the Nether, right? And you gotta do the advanced Nether capsules and whatnot. But yes, okay, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Uh, I know that I am having a fantastic day. I had r some really good lunch. I had some ramen with some cheese. Don't be angry at me because, you know, I, I, you know what, forget it. I don't want to even try to explain myself why I eat ramen with cheese, right? I know it's weird. All right, beautiful. Quartz and rich iron. Uh, and then that's going to be mixed with stone to make a machine casing. Dude, refined storage is probably like one of my favorite mods of all time. One of the best digital storage mods ever. I mean, I applied logistics is okay. If I could change one thing about applied logistics well actually no two things is the storage disks being having 63 types the types is annoying and i would also get rid of channels because yeah no one likes channels like i get it if you if you're into it and whatnot but hey spoiler alert i'm not into it right so it's just like it's just really annoying uh to deal with that right so it's just like why uh, living rock, sure, get rid of it. Sterling, get rid of all this stuff. We don't need it. Uh, what else are we missing here? Uh, I would like more nether quartz to, uh, you know, smelt and do things with. So, you give me this. I, I mean, I suppose we could, you know, do the thing. Let's go ahead and make some silicon. Uh, you know what? We don't even have a furnace. Uh, you know what? Sure. Grab a redstone furnace. That's fine. We'll, we'll plop it over here with all the 50 other bajillion machines. One of the more rougher parts of this is definitely making all of the the things, right? The the conduit binders and whatnot. Not conduit binders, sorry. The, the binders for these processor things because they're quite annoying. Well, actually, you know what? I mean... You know what? They are kind of slightly annoying. Uh, slime? Do we have slime? Okay, we do. So thankfully, we have some slime. And this isn't going to... You know what? Hold on. I'm going to do a thing. And we're going to get rid of these crafting tables because they, they stink. I would rather have crafting stations, honestly. Because at least I can put stuff in it and it will keep the uh, keep them in, in the crafting station and not go in my inventory when I leave it. Oh, dude, this, what an upgrade. 
upgrading from crafting uh, tables to crafting stations is uh, a must, I feel. All right, we'll go ahead and craft some of these. And we'll, we'll keep this in this crafting station. And oh, dude, it's so nice. Oh, I don't know why I'm just using this now, but sure. It is what it is, right? We'll grab some diamonds and we'll grab some redstone because we'll be using a lot of this redstone stuff. Okay, so one of these, you know, what? Mm, can I get a cable over here? Because I, I really don't want to have to keep like going flying over here to like smelt stuff. Right. Okay, so we're going to want at least 164K or at least 10 of them, which is just like, oh, dude, it's it's a little rough. I'm not going to lie. That's a little rough. Uh, I might just prepare everything off camera. And that way we can just be like easy. Bam, boom, bam, 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 done kind of thing. Because that is a lot to prepare on camera. Right? Alrighty, guys. So I did the math. So to get what we want for 10, 16K or 10, 64K drives, we're going to need 830 glass, 1600 silicone, 950 redstone, 360 iron, 160 gold, 40 diamonds, and 430 quartz enriched iron which is a lot of stuff oh boy let me tell you that is a lot of stuff but it's not something that we cannot do right i think we can do it it's just gonna take us a hot minute to do it so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a crafting montage because you know what i really did enjoy making the that and i believe it was episode 16 that we did the crafting montage it was either 16 or 17 i honestly don't remember it's been a it's been a hot while since i've actually made that episode or whatever but i did i did really enjoy making that episode so i think we're just gonna do it again honestly i mean it was a lot of fun and plus this is a lot of resources to gather and i really really want to get refined storage up today if we can because yeah i think we would really benefit from auto crafting in, in some senses, right? So, yeah. I am going to. Where is my stone? Bud, 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 bud. I'm, gonna, I'm about to beat you up. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Why, why are you being such a boob? Okay, there we go. Perfect. And then we just need a little, a little bit of a chest here. And perfect. This is literally one part of this is already done, or two parts of this is already done, right? You got the controller. And we got our disk drive ready to go. So yeah, let's cue the montage. Alrighty guys, that took probably 30 seconds for you guys, but two hours for me. Oh God, that was forever. I, I'm, I'm very surprised it took me that long to make that. So, all right, we want a crafting grid, which means we're gonna want to craft. Oh God, no, no, we need more. We need more. Rip, that is a ripperoni pepperoni if you ask me. Uh, Redstone, iron, and I don't know what else I need for this as well. Uh, Let's see, more these we can make those we have well yeah we can make those we have those those are done we need more of these stupid in wait what, what was that recipe oh more silicon right silicon's a big issue right now and it's kind of annoying okay <laughs> well we're gonna have to figure something out for that uh right we'll do sure we'll do like okay we won't do that many because well, I don't want to, you know, you know, use all of my silicon, maybe some diamonds. We, we need more diamonds. I should also kind of maybe like power this a little bit, you know, uh, I should just be able to get some stone here, right? It should be fairly easy. Oh my God. I can never find 
vanilla stone in this thing. So I'm just going to pop it over on the side here. So that way I have it kind of like ready to go. And then you're going to do me a favor and you're going to cook these because we need these cooked. Uh, Let's see. Oh, I didn't make the diamond ones. Hold on. I can probably make them here actually, right? So a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that and some of this. Oh, is it? Wait, is it actually dependent on where? Oh, no, no. What am I doing? Wrong thing. I was like, uh, and we'll do like a quarter stack of these as well. That should be fine. That should be good enough, I think. Okay, let's see if we have all the materials we need. I think oh, we need nether quartz, which I think we have a bit of extra. A little bit of glowstone can I okay never mind. I was gonna say, can I break down those blocks of glowstone pretty easily? But um yeah, so we need hold on, we need one of these, we need one of these, and then we have that to make that. We just need a little bit more glass, a wee bit more glass. Dude, this is awesome. The fact that we're getting digital storage, oh, blessing in disguise. And then don't forget, we can also do a lot of auto crafting now too. Oh, it's going to get a lot easier from this point on, right? Once we get everything auto crafted, it's going to be, oh yeah, it's going to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to do great things. I think, uh, of course you don't like crafting stations. You only like crafting tables. Of course I get it. You have your preferences, man. All right, crafting grid. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Imagine if like I dropped them into the void. I would have been so upset. I'd be so sad. And then you're gonna go here and we'll go ahead and drop this right on, right on the top of it. And boom, bam, boom, bam. Can I actually make a second one of these? Just, just, I want a second disk drive because I do have a little bit, I made 10. And you only could fit eight in the disk drives. I kind of miscalculated. That's kind of my fault, but you know, it is what it is. I was thinking of the, um, the applied energistics, uh, ME drive that can hold, I believe up to 10 storage cells each. So yeah, that's kind of a, uh, yeah, I'm going to plop that right there. We do have two extra. We'll go ahead and another 128,000 extra storage that we can use. Oh, dude, that's, that's nice. Having that extra 128,000 128, uh, storage is going to be so nice. Uh, you um, need to come over here. And you need to give me some power cables. Where are my stuff? It's over here. Good. Now, I don't know if this is... How much power is this even drawing right now? 14 hours per tick. I'm sure we've got enough power in this this line over here. It's fine. It's fine. You know, worst case scenario, we lose power. I mean, it is what it is, right? 14 hours per tick. That's actually not too bad. This is actually getting apparently low, but you know what? Wait, here's a good test. So 14 hours per tick. If I put a stack of items in here, does it go up? Okay, no, it doesn't go up. It might go up based on how many of the drives are actually full. I mean, I guess we'll find out, won't we? In about like two seconds. Once we start putting in the rest of our stuff inside the the uh, ME system here. Like grabbing all of this junk and just dumping it. Oh yeah, look at all that junk. Yes, go in there. It doesn't seem to be going up, which is usually it does go up. Actually, I thought that was like a part of the refined storage. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. I could, I could have sworn that that was that was like a feature or something of refined storage. All right, we should be able to come over here and dump this in now, right? Oh yeah, look at that. This is gonna make things a hundred billion times easier on us, for sure. And you know what I can do too? I can also be like, hey, like I want to run, um, uh, let's see, an external, external storage bus or something. Maybe with some cables. 
Uh, we need some of those. Uh, an external storage bus. And bring that over here. And then we just need some chests, which we can grab from our little handy dandy EMC table. I wish there was a, I wonder if there is a refined storage mod in this pack that allows us to connect it to a, uh, the, uh, system. There's no way this is going to work. I'm going to need a hell of a lot more cables than that. I'm going across like five chunks. And also that's also not going to work because there's a cable right there. So looks like we're going to the side here and I should be able to pick this and run it down the side, this side. I can't see, Jesus Christ, it's getting so dark. I can't tell where the hell the cable's going. It's so dark. Is that right? Okay, that's much better. Also, where is the thing? Conveniently, it's right here. Okay, so we're not too far off. You're going to get a high priority set to like 100. And then we're just going to run a quick and dirty cable. Look at that. I did that without vision. Hmm. I feel so proud. Cringe. Perfect. And now we should be able to auto craft with these tier two resources or tier three resources. Once we get auto craft going. Also, why is that there? Okay, well, it's not there anymore. Good, 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 good. Uh, we should see tier, yep, tier three resources, 35,000 of them. That's not a whole lot. That is not a whole lot. But I think it's time that we actually sit down and maybe start generating some more EMC, like passively as well, because we can actually do that as well. Uh, once we get this set up, uh, the add-on, where is that at? Oh, don't tell me I lost it. I would be really upset if I lost it because I mean, not that it's that expensive, but it's just annoying to make, right? Is it still over here in the chest? You would think so. I think I picked it up and I moved it somewhere, which is kind of annoying, right? Uh, is this like this little green add-on? Where did, where in the hell did I put it? Oh God, you know what? It's probably better just to make a new one and not even like fuss about it, right? So that's gonna be, I mean, to be fair, that is kind of expensive for emeralds because emeralds don't really have EMC, unfortunately. So yeah, it's kind of stinky that we lost that, but stinky in the pinky, if you know what that means. Um, and an emerald, emeralds times four, please. Oops. Oh, I almost voided those emeralds. That would have been a very big, big, big oomph, big sag. Let me also pick this up and put it back. You go here. Can I really not pick that up with a crescent hammer? That's kind of annoying. Do, 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 do. Here's the question. Did I build the area where we're we going to be? Nope. Of course I did not. Because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I build the area where the farm is going to go. Um, I don't think we're going to be using this now. That is massive. That's more than one chunk wide. Um, yeah, let's go to like nine instead. I have officially figured out one that will actually fit in our little area here that we have built up for ourselves. So yeah, we're doing, I think a tier eight i want to say is what we're using for this over here right now 
Yes, a tier no a tier six. A tier six is what we're using over here, which just barely fits in a uh a chunk. They have really um upgraded the size of the industrial foregoing uh mob duplicator because it used to never be this big. This is like massive. I wonder is that like manually configurable? I almost wonder if that's like man like Yeah, it feels like it's almost like manually configurable, which is weird also like I guess well No, we want it to be one more back here. I think yeah, we don't want it to Oh, I almost vein mine the entire the entire thing Ooh, that would have been bad Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. What am I doing? Okay I need to go one more, right? Cause it's going to be one back. Something like this maybe. And you, and then something like this. We probably could have gotten away with probably a, a five, a fiver or something, which is probably fine. But honestly, I'd rather deal with this instead. Does dark glass have EMC? It does. So we're gonna, you know, fill this up with dark glass and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys. So I built a little thing. I finished building the mob farm, by the way. Uh, the only thing that we need to do is we need to add the, um, what is it called? The, God, I can't think of the name of it right now. The mob masher, right? So we're gonna want a mob masher added to this i'm also thinking i want to test something but i'm not sure if it's gonna work the way i want it to and i'm a little afraid that monsters are gonna be spawning inside that spawner which would not be ideal i only want zombified pigmen yeah you can already see that things already things are already spawning in there and i don't really want that hmm yeah, I don't really want that to happen now. The question becomes, can we put torches on vector plates in this version? We cannot. I can put torches on glass, but it's not gonna really help the center. Um, I guess the better question is, can I break this? You know what I can do? Do you think glowstone? No, wait. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you don't break the vector plate. So the vector plate, the, the block that I just broke is God knows where. Okay. Yeah, this corner here, this corner piece. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put glowstone inside of the farm. And then that's how we will handle kind of dealing with other monsters from spawning inside the spawner. Thankfully, we can do that. I'm so thankful that we're allowed to do that because, oh my God, that would have been really bad if we couldn't. Because I don't want this to be a general mob farm. I just want this to be um, zombified piglins spawning inside of here, right? Yeah, we don't want anything else spawning inside of this spawner if we can, right? Because we want just them so that way we can get their, their good loot, right? And that's all we really care about is their good loot. So yeah, I want to replace down all these vector plates and we'll be right back. You know, the best part about this too is I was thinking about this and we can probably decommission our old zombified piglin spawner now for this new one here, which is going to be even better than the... Uh, the last one that we had right which is so good like this is gonna be consistent and I don't have to be next to it to have it work which is 
even better, right? The problem with the old zombified piglin farm was I had to be standing pretty close for it to work because it's a vanilla spawner, right? Uh, you have to be within a certain block range for it to work, unfortunately. So, but this one is going to be really OP because I don't have to be near it, right? The only thing that we have to keep in mind actually is how much essence we're producing, right? Like that's the only thing that we re like realistically have to be like worry about is like how much essence are we actually producing from that spawn right over there if it's producing enough to um you know is it producing enough to kind of keep up with the rate that we're spawning uh zombified piglins essentially and i also do need to make sure that we light these sides up as well because if we don't uh yeah we're gonna have problems <laughs> So yeah, that should be fine. I should now be able to come over here, come in here, um, and apparently gain 77 levels. Cause that's a thing. All right. I am gonna have to re cardboard box that, uh, that spawner. That's fine. Okay, good. I don't really care about the lever, it's fine. Yeah, perfect. Spawn me another zombified piglin, that's great. Cause I need that. Uh, I think I accidentally hit one of the F, F keys. There we go. Wait, hold on, why is that? Okay, it's F9. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, perfect. And then you're going to just get rid of all this silliness. You don't need that anymore. What else? Uh, we are going to want a mob imprisonment tool. If we can get one of those, that'd be great. We're going to need a little bit of gas here. Okay. The question is, do we have four? Uh, theme of bobbers to spare. Four pieces of plastic. Uh, hell no. Hell no, we don't. Yeah, we're, we're still waiting for that to be backed up. So hold on. Let me, I guess, come over here and disengage this for a second. And then we'll let that kind of do its thing. While we kind of finish setting up the rest of this farm. Which shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I think, yeah, I'll be able to break the block under it. It's fine. Because this is technically a full block. Which is nice. Alright, I'm going to sit there. Yep. And the only thing that we need now is looting. Which we're going to go ahead and take care of right now. Right, so looting, if I remember correctly, requires platinum. Which is actually quite expensive um all things considered we need platinum nuggets which requires tier three but that's nothing that we can't handle again because like we have tier three we have thirty-seven thousand tier threes uh but i think once we get this set up i don't think we're gonna really have a problem or an issue with getting our hands on some of the the materials that we need for crafting and whatnot because well, we'll have EMC, right? And most of what we're, you know, doing requires EMC, right? To expand and scale our, all of our systems all together. So yeah, I think this is a really good, um, idea here to set up the zombified piglin farm because yeah, we'll be able to kind of upgrade our systems and scale up our systems a lot more, like very quickly by doing this and also we can probably even make a second system we would probably have to make a bigger one of those but that's really not that hard like we can we'll be able to do that pretty easily um but yeah that, that should be pretty straightforward and simple 
Now the question is, can I break the right block? Nope. One more over. Where is this this mob grinder? Oh, I'm literally one block off. I'm so close. I was pretty close. Nope. Nope. Perfect. Perfect. Now this should. Oh, you know what? I didn't take into consideration the power. Oh my God. 5,000 RF per tick. Woo. That is expensive. That is hella expensive. Oh God. Oh no. That is RIP rip mode. Oof. Oof. That's a yike coming from me. Ooh, it's okay. We'll figure it out. We always do, right? We always have some sort of backup plan. But yeah. But unfortunately, guys, I think it is time to wrap up today's episode of Sky Capsule Project. So with that being said, if you get oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding that and notification bell, become a, part of, become a part of the Hunter Stripe. Help us reach your goal of 1,000 subscribers. As always, guys, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time. Bye-bye.